more than any Dungeons and Dragons game I've played, this captures the feeling of Dungeons and Dragons. I think that's fair to say. I think that's easy to say even. Uh, I should build a bridge here, I guess, with y'all. Or a pass. It's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take me a long time to finish this area anyway. Wherewithal, welcome back. I need to go and help them. The Well of Seawell. Lanera's cliffs have been revealed. Uh, lurking Thrixel in this tile. It's not the Well of Seawell. Uh, I mean, Thrixel have gotten really pretty big. I also do like that there seems to be an option if I accept death, but I'm doing my best to bring you all down with me. Yes. Uh, you know, making a character's death a cinematic moment in that way is also something that, like, a, a DM and GM will, like, consistently do, especially if they think the character is not coming back. Thrixel have so few threat cards. Oh, yeah, these are the Thrixel. All right, sorry, I thought I was thinking about Morthagi. Oh, uh, yeah, the Thrixel aren't that bad. I should probably just take them out with the party I have access to at the moment. Ah, uh, but the thing is, this is also going to take... Uh, but then got, uh, whatever, we'll do it. Get him. I would tell you how beautiful you look by a firelight, but any light is lucky to land on you. Hmm. Look at the stars. Just completely ignoring that very kind compliment. They'd be more visible if we douse the fire. Stop... Stop mumbling for a second, you hear that? Hushed voices and careful footfalls approach over the overgrown path. To David's ears, even these muscled noises are perfectly loud. Come on, strangers. If you're friendly, come forward slowly. Silence, perhaps a minute of it, is all the answer that emerges from a thick wall of brush. Then... Oh, like you don't. They're not fooled by this. I'm standing in ants. Yes, mistress. Um, should I offer myself? Introduce us! We can hear you. Ho? Uh, ho, ho there. Ho, ho, ho. He needs... Ho, ho there. Ho there. Yeah, okay. What are you... What good are more mouths to feed? Haha, <laughs> you look experienced, whatever you are. Bandits, rogues. Uh, hounding for... Captives, I hope. Um, well... Oh, move it, you fool! Anything's better than ants up my dress! Uh, sorry, mistress. Here, take my arm. I'm just giving consistent voices to the same characters again. I'm trying to give them different ways. Uh, a pair of travelers clambers, free from all the bracken. Their clothing fine, but a tad filthy. Uh, hello, strangers. I'm Olic. Servant and apprentice to the prestigious and lovely woman who... Well, perhaps we shouldn't use your real name? That's Yanalina! Huh? Oh, he knows your name. And why wouldn't he? Yanalina the Dream Chanter, poet and peerless singer, impossible to turn away an ear while she's plucking strings, spinning yards, deploying her famous vowels. Well, you don't seem like a threat. Come sit by the fire. We're not in any kind of bad business. By the fire sounds grand. Silly. Mistress. The small camp settles a little awkwardly. Introductions go around. Shortly thereafter, Carl can't help himself. He bends Yonalina's ear. Personally, I, can't find I can find merit in most stories or songs, but the great performances are truly something special. I was there when you sang Star Sailors in Broadwell. Flawless. Rumor was you intoned all of the Old Wayne saga in a day and a night, and no one dared chew a morsel. Yes, yes, I remember those days. I try not to miss them. Oh, mistress, you don't need to say it. I do, though. Just that nothing lasts forever. Bad fever took my lofty registers from me. My volume... Performance is such a physical thing. Most forget that. I'm weak nowadays. I lean on him. My student, Olek there. Mistress. 
I would love to show that gift to you again, but it's gone now. Only the memory remains. Why not try a small song? Even if it's quiet, even if it's just a shadow of you, we'd like it. Uh, well, I guess I could try. It's been a few years now. 71. Yonalina, the dream chanter, pulls her instrument from its case. A hum collects in her throat, then ebbs, then rises again, spilling between pitches, and stops. Uh, don't strain yourself, mistress. It's a good night, I think. I might have a few verses in me. First, she moves her fingers over the strings of the mandalute. Great rings of sound, chords, and twining. The melody hangs and wobbles and winds around the ear. It curls in the heart like an old dog, returning. My father wrote this for me. It was my first song. Next, she begins to sing. All right, let me, let me figure out what the, the, the meter of it is in my head. Okay. I sit inside the wind. The moon looks down on me. Wow, she's reciting there. What? Screw it. Singing like a sea shanty? Screw it. Let's try. I sit inside the wind. The moon looks down on me. The places that I've been all linger distantly. I'm here for you whenever you need me. I'm here to see that someday you don't. Oh, it's, I thought the next word was just going to be C really long. Sing it to the tune of Hold Back Girl. You'll find me in a tree for trees there to find. Stand tall on your knees or a tree threat <laughs> will treat you kind. Yeah, it doesn't fit to that. It's, it's not good enough. You'll find me in a tree if a tree is there to find. Stand tall on your knees, a tree will treat you kind. Though I'm here for you when you don't want me. I'm here for you in case someday you do. It's got a weird amount of syllables, you have to just extend random ones. Her voice is sheer as gauze. It yields to the slight, sly, uh, slight sigh rather of a breeze. But it persists, trembling strong. It's beautiful. Suddenly, an unpleasant scrick closes her mouth. She swallows. Appears to be fighting a cough. Unshed tears are starved right in the fight. Oh. Uh, are you... Mistress? But she shakes her head. Her fingers repair the halted tune. Oh god, she's doing more. <laughs> now I live in smoke. The clouds and cliffs my bed. The weird and rippling water bends around your head. Is it? It's, I gotta insert my own commas. Night comes along like a stray with a song. Asks me to travel on, but I wait until you're sleeping. <laughs> that doesn't even rhyme. What are you trying to? Uh, that's that was my father's lullaby. Honestly. Honestly? Your voice? My life, I know, has been blessed. The night before the fight at <laughs> The night before the fight at the Well of Seawell passes quickly. Ah, oh, the Geist lost extra health. Sang that song so well. All the Geists are now weaker. All the arrows plus two damage potency for three times, baby. I'm gonna need it apparently because we've got the barbs here. Ponderous and expressionless, its hairy carapace begins to rattle. Then to sing, the whole world changes. Okay, Dweevus Rosk and Bard, and the next room is gonna have Bard Dweevus Rosk as well. If Silly moves out of the way. David can move there and then taunt. Like, engage and then guardian. That'd be pretty good. It's just then I have to find Silly's final location before I do that. 
Purple slamp. Is he really being Ooh, bone lance, bone lance, bone lance through both of them. Can I bone lance through both? Of, can I bone lance through both of you? Four range, one pips. Silly, I think you can probably bone lance through both those boys. Gimme. Bone lance. How did you dodge that? <laughs> uh, Bard, you have interviews, you have stridulation, interviews with the thrust grunting at power. Uh, Shrill song and either burn. I mean, Kyle, you just go up and strike the Dweeber, right? Makes the most sense. Reveals that Bard. Kills the Dweaver with 26 damage. I mean, I could attack. It doesn't seem like an awful idea. I wish I'd done that earlier, because then I would have known to throw a dagger. David dodged. Nice work. Interfusion happened there. Thrust is now more powerful. Seeker is out on the field. We have many AoEs. Have to fight bards after a night of song. Does kind of make a weird kind of sense if you think about it. Honestly, the discus could just go through them both as well. <laughs> I can I bone lance both of you from here? Just not. Can I steal fire through both of them? Maybe. And then that would send a fire up in the other direction, which would be nice. Yeah, take your free interfusion. Take your free... Wait, you can't... You can't interfuse that because David's in the way? David's! Get out of their way! You know what? No, silly. Just... Interfuse the rocks. Take the obvious shot through them. Yeah. Yeah, that's way better. <laughs> um... Carl setting up to be able to kill someone from behind. Yeah, fine. Thrusk's range is about that far. Uh, it's a shrill song. Okay, let's go there. Engage you. Guardian setup. And then Kyle? Honestly? Just get as close to the door as you can without revealing yourself. Wait. What? Rude. Extremely rude. Uh, so I can get rocks to attack from the other side. Bone or garb. I mean, this is going to require... All of this requires silly moving up. Pretty... Pretty aggressively. Bone Lance through you, and then attack from the other side. We actually may just have to kill. Yep. We got the kill. Good mission. I really like the length of these. I really, 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 really like the lengths of these campaigns. Um, sorry, not the campaigns, the combats. One of the things I uh, occasionally burrow up against in D&D &D is, and this, you know, again, it depends on your DM and GM. Um, but I, I don't really like a lot of combat because I feel like it ignores a lot of D&D &D and then sometimes you end up with a character that's not built around combat just being garbage. And also I find, like, 
Like if I was gonna play the, if I was gonna play DD exclusively for combat, I'd just play a board game instead. Uh but when D D does have combat, I do want it to be relatively short. I don't want to spend like four hours doing a fight, you know? Great position to be in. Also, thank you very much for saying so, Oracle. It's very kind of you to say. Hawkwo's Thorn. I mean, look, Eloise could easily get another uh, stabby stabby. It's the same as uh, Silly's offhand there. Willow, you could also take an offhand like that, but I don't know if you need it. Actually, maybe Willow needs it most. Can I use a spear to attack? No, I, I can't attack through an, uh, an ally, right? Eloise, get the spear. It's more damage. Better stunt damage as well. Take the spear. Curious how it works with her jumping sentinel. I don't know if it will increase the range of that at all. I'm assuming it won't. Hey, this is a this this is gonna allow us to also keep the uh, shield out at times, which is pretty damn good. Uh, I'm not really gonna name that here. It's not like a thing. It does increase the range of. Okay, that's pretty ridiculous. Well, yeah, that's that's insane. That's good. That's very good. I'm glad to hear it. Find an item. Boat's pretty slow. Tom's gonna flood in a very long time from now. There's our research site complete. Item to spell thread. We also find a brooch of courage. Uh, I mean, it's just block, right? David Thornley takes that. Your block is now 80. Nice. Um, I mean, I can now get you to assist? No, wait, you're already on the task. Uh, oh, you two seem to be very fun. So I can't build the same bridge from the other side. Wait, was it not done? Um, um, I could have sworn there was a bridge being carved already. Did I just reset its progress somehow? Yeah, I think I did, because that's just starting time. Gosh, damn it. Did you click cancel? I didn't think I clicked cancel. I must have clicked cancel accidentally, though. Trying to get off this screen, I guess? Oh. Man. Oh, that's so rough. All right. Well, 70 more days. <laughs> Keep your Raspberry. Yeah, I know time's an important resource, but they only want to go up right now. I think I can cancel. We can prepare defense. Yeah, I guess. We actually, yeah, we can prepare defense at some style. Let's do it. Fine. Might as well do something. Uh, Gorgon gets extra armor. Bogmore gets extra health. Bogmore getting extra health is kind of rough, but I'm going to keep my legacy points here. Scoria, a new unit for the Thrixel, as well as a Divan, a new unit for the Draven. The second fortification. Ah, these will finish in about the same time. As it way is now open. The way is open. The alive keep it. All right, scout out this way. Uh, Silly or David? I think I put David out in this mission. I like Willow here as well. Willow and David are kind of like combo. Kyle, Kimaru. I mean, if I'll take Kimaru off and put Will Silly in maybe? No, 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 no Kimaru. Wait, Patricia's already in there. Silly? We leave Kimaru and uh, Eloise wherewithal out.
I don't dislike it. Oh, and I guess the other two can prepare some defense here. Might as well, right? Quenborn Altar, Silent Top has been revealed. Quenborn Altar is level six strength. I think we just go into the fight. This is the final fight. When you arrive, you'll have a chance to make final preparations. When the fight is over, the game will end. The game will end? So those are the married two, right? Second honeymoon. Yeah, they're just taking a honeymoon, uh, preparing some some stuff out there. This sends this camp. So I'm I'm saying goodbye to all of these carriers. This is a tearful goodbye. Get on out there, friends. A Hillsong cave serves as their final campsite. I always thought I'd die alone, but I'm proud I'll die among you, Gorgon Slayers. Be sure of your gear. This is the last sleep. We'll be prepared. Six heartwood, 13 hides, and nine ingots, five fabrics, 14 spell thread, and we get a craft. We'll be prepared. Oh, we can upgrade, uh, discount 16. Nice. Yeah, we can upgrade Adventure here. It's pretty good if we intend on putting you out in the front like we do. So we'll leave. This is still the best armor we can give you. Still the best shield I can give you. Got my hand weapon. So Avenger is a possibility there. Um, right, that's a stone... Fire, discount 14. I like that we have such huge discounts on those. I think it's because we're upgrading the weapon rather than anything else, right? Like, so we're getting the cost of the base weapon kind of lumped in. Hmm. Spell damage isn't potency, but... I mean, what can I can I give you an offhand that gives you more potency? So do it. Warding two, lots of fires, lots of turn. Turn to in, no. Okay. no. Um, silly, your weapon being upgraded here to the misspelling Rowan wand is pretty damn good. There's an artifact offhand for potency. All oh, right, but I don't have it unlocked yet. Because I haven't found it, so I don't have the ability to craft it, right? Hmm. You can never craft artifacts on the upgrade or find. Yeah, it looks like that's the case because I found the spell shard here on uh, on Silly. Also on bones. I mean, it would be exactly the thing I would want to give to the other character at this point. Um, so I feel like the people that don't have their highest level of armor, but, uh, you know, key, you know, builds kind of need it. Um, although I do want you to be more speedy and dodgy. Get discount three for that. Twenty-five dodge, dodge does matter to you. So. Thornleaf is complete unless I'm about to craft this. And that will cost me eight of my ingots. That's a lot of ingots, baby. And all of that for one damage and one stunt damage on you. I don't think that's going to be as impactful as I'm hoping. You've the ability to go for some sort of giant axe. Reasonable upgrade. Don't think I need that for you, though. Oh, man. Don't keep losing your gray bark. Uh, gray bark for ghost wrath on you? I also do want that on you. I love that David's loyal beast is with him. 
So the LP, do I just want to spend all of my legacy points at this point? Are we done? Like th the next round will start with zero legacy points. Because if that's the case, then yeah, I'm just going to like overspend everything. Yep, spend them all. Okay, cool. It's really useful to have chat here for, for questions like that that I don't have an answer to that I would really like um and ah about for a really long period of time trying to think of a different answer, you know? Upgrade that to the time trifle. Discount four. If David is really going to be standing in the front line like that, like I really wish it gave melee accuracy and block to do this upgrade here. Avenger is totally fine. That's, yeah, we'll just upgrade that weapon. Yours definitely needs an upgrade. Um, the separating whisper word. The. It's all gravy. It's all gravy, baby, wavy. Wand of. Do what I want. Maybe. Patricia named this. She's officially worse than me. Worse here being, you know, worse as in has this negative trait of naming something a really long, complicated name. So, Willow... I've got enough legacy points to give Willow a staff as well. Everyone having a level 3? It feels pretty reasonable, doesn't it? You haven't got a story yet. Climates doesn't matter to you at all. Well, maybe I could have given you something related that, you know, we're done after this. So, let's have a look at people's armor. That is with LP. Don't think we're about that. That's with LP. Don't think we're about that. Or got the highest on you. What a Bruce. You straight up craft that bad boy. And will do. Silly, you can do the same. Uh, and then I got 10 hinds, one fabric, spell threads, and legacy points. So, I mean, wait, your staff is two-handed. Never mind, you're not going on offhand anyway. Um, God, I'm, I'm honestly, like, pretty, pretty set to leave. I feel like I probably should use all of my resources, but that's about everything I want to use. I'm done. The Valley of the God Beast, Moatana. We knew we were set up for an unwinnable fight. Even in the relentless rain, it was a beautiful place to die. Kyle, remember when we first met? Thanks for crossing the distance. To me. Do you think we can really pull this out? I've just heard it. The entire time I've been doing Trance voice, I was like, man, there's another character in pop uh, pop culture that has like a voice almost like that, but then turns suddenly menacing. And it took me a while to remember who it is. Goddamn Mike Milligan from Fargo. Listen to it when he uh, next gets a line. We can't go into this expecting to lose. Let's each of us try to survive. Help each other survive. For our world, our families, the labor of our lifetimes. Let's fight for our friends. Let's live! Uh, quiet would serve us well here. The end of everything. A clear path climbs the hill ahead of them to whatever waits. Geist, Bartov, True Gorgon, Two Row, Two Raccoons, and the Rajer. Oh, baby! You're a densely packed right there. That's a stone table. God, I wish there was something wooden around this area. 
Stone statue, stone there as well. It's like silly and see what's up. I mean, that discus going through all of the enemies would be neat. Discus, 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 discus. No, I want a splinter blaster. No, that's too far. Five range, wild grass, pin. Take the geist. Okay. <sighs> Gotta remember, there is more of a battlefield out there as well. As I approach, I'm likely to reveal more characters. Get everyone's ridiculous amount of armor at the moment. Yeah, there's ridiculous available movement here. Like the idea of blowing up the small rock with two HP. Tentacles. Uh, so that your characters have more movement on the field. I'm not against that idea, but I'm trying to see if I have some solution here that kills all of them. Because I do have one... Kimaru isn't here! I don't have my AoE access. Oh, okay, well, that's going to completely change the way that we have to play then. So, yeah, I, 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 I will be thinking of other options now. I'm trying to set up for an ability I didn't even access to. Silly, you... I'm down here-ish? Seems pretty reasonable. Interfuse with these tentacles. Send out the discus to the left. Nice! It hit the geist exactly as I wanted it to. Because now Willow interfuses the sapling and uses that wild grasp to pull you up and pin you. And now that's also got a flanking shot from this side, so Patricia could even just take a shot and kill. Uh, so that means what needs to do for the rest here is David needs to approach. David, you're ridiculous. Uh, Kyle, you want to go further up and then Silk Step. Your way into a different kind of safety. Patricia, I mean, look, you should reorient yourself before you do that does this you don't make corrupted ground when you die right no not as far as i'm aware so i have the ability to move as close over to well no but those those are ranged enemies as well so while i do want to move over in that direction i don't want to move full range over in that direction we'll go one short kill the guys yo i think that was a really clever first turn <laughs> i'm quite proud that raccoon's now explosive. Uh, can make it explode. Can make it explode. Can I make it explode? If I kill the Bartoff, does it explode? Only one way to find out. Uh, David, you have a spear, don't you? But 2.1 is not enough range to hit two spaces down and then one across with the spear. I don't think you need 2.5 for a cork correctly. Um, I'm going to turn away in every direction for other characters supporting effectively right now. I almost feel like Silly needs to take control of that rock and then just send something down. Actually, you can't take them? Excuse me? Oh my god, yeah, you have ability to get that rock from anywhere except for where you're currently standing. So you can find for yourself on Kyle. Yeah, with the three sh uh, front shot of the dagger uh, and then movement and then attacking. It's just whether or not I have something better that I can set up on it. So this is no longer interfused. Does it immediately explode? I'm assuming it won't. Because Bartoth can make it explode, but it'll just un-infuse. Bartoth is rough. 
Uh, David, can you get too much this turn? Can you get that much this turn, please? Like, Dave, if you just stood there... Is that a play? Sometimes those things are plays. Let's let you move further up. Take her into fusion on the rock. Send that discus down. Yeah, so it doesn't explode even on kill there. Unfortunate. Willow, you are so far away. You've got some range on abilities. You can wall here to take this into fusion and send a discus through if you really want to. Which will help us set up some flanks as well. Okay. So the big problem right now is Bartoth's uh, unshredded armor. Trisha has the ability to attack through. Kyle, your weapon does no shredding, if I recall correctly. Gorgon's Bane has stunt damage. Yeah, Grave Gnaw has a shred, but I probably don't want to use the Great, great Axe there. David, you have a old sword in the other hand. Ugh, range 1.6 on the Avenger as well. You don't have shred either. Wow, the armor is actually going to be a real problem for us. We didn't... We didn't take much shred with us. Yikes. Oh, big yikes. Um, don't want to stand next to a Bartoth that gets a free action then attacks again? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, but David can taunt. Right? Uh, engage. Forcing them to attack him. Yep. Hey. Hey, you. Attack me, okay? Huh? Huh? Hey. Hey. Set up Guardian so if he comes in close, just ruin him for having done so. Um, and now that that's set up, we actually already have flanking attacks set up from this side as well. That could be a huge amount of damage, unfortunately. Well, it's still going to be a huge amount of damage, unfortunately, but... I forgot that Grey Plane ignores armor, which is, like, critical to remember at that junction. Holy... Um... Gosh, Patricia. Go as far as you can, then Silk Step if you don't see anything. Okay, I can't Silk Step across gaps, it looks like. Actually, no, maybe if I had the range. Shut up with range, darling. Shut up with range. Yeah, damage times 2x is so good. Kyle's daggers have been ridiculous this whole time. Oh, crumbs. Maybe also another rager. Well, that's got to be where the true Gorgon and all that nonsense is. Uh, which means we need to take, like, hard advanced positions here. There's no real timer in this game. Like, the timer is just your own... Well, no real timer in this mission, in the missions I've experienced so far. Or at least, there's not consistently a timer in the missions I've experienced so far. Sorry about the... having to fix my words constantly, but I wanted to be very specific there. Because... Uh, it means the, the thing that is telling you to go faster is literally just your gut saying... Mm, move a bit faster. Sometimes you got buffs to wear off, things like that as well. Sometimes, you know what it was? Uh, here's, here's where all the explanation is uh, ending up. XCOM 2, when it came out, like on release, had really, really rough turn timers. Just like, you have four turns to do, you know, the entire map, stuff like that. It was really, really annoying. It was trying to break you out of the, you know, Overwatch turtle up kind of gameplay style that, that may not necessarily always be enjoyable for all players, but constantly putting myself out of position and then just getting punished for it uh, felt bad. I'm pretty sure they changed the turn timers after a while to be a little 
little more lenient, but they are still stricter than they were in other things like XCOM, Enemy Within, and Enemy Unknown. So Kyle can't get close enough to melee attack the Gorgon. Like, I kind of want to bait the Gorgon for another round. How do I bait the Gorgon for another round? Do I even do it? See, what could you interfuse? Discus. Hmm, tree? Splinter Blast, pretty good. Especially because only go uh, only, especially because it only works to go fast if you hit the things you were planning on hitting, which is notoriously not always the case with that game. It, it's more like you know, you don't have to hit every shot. Like you, you, the best XCOM players have a plan for what happens if they miss the shot that they find critical. But it's more like it was hard to make backup plans when you're also overextending every single turn and like dashing constantly. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe I'm just a little sensitive. It's, it's fine. Not everything has to be for everyone. Um, let's take the tree. Uh, they'll still be from that side. That's fine. I do just want to shred their armor there if I have the ability. And I do... Oh, that's not a 90 degree. That's rough. Not even a 90 degree from up there. Oh, okay. I'll go and even get close enough. No. No. Hello. Kyle, throw a knife at this. Kill it. Thanks. That frees up David. You don't have a spear, so you're not range two at the moment, Dave. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dave. You do not have the movement points for it, Dave. Okay. I think I know what to do. It's Willow interfuses this stone. It's within range for the discus, right? Yeah, it is. There's our flanking shot. That's what it's all about. That's what it was all about the whole time. Uh, Kyle, you still have a bow on your other hand, don't you? No, you have a great axe. Uh, if you get closer, you can still throw a dagger, though. If you get uh, offside enough, not be able to get offside enough for that. Nice. Kill confirmed. Now, doing all of that before moving David gives me the ability to move David up and set up a Guardian. Uh, Ulstrix is just gonna... Well, actually, is Ulstrix even there? Like, that's all of the enemies on the map, isn't it? Yeah, it's literally just get to the goal at this point, I think. In which case... I don't really care if I overextend too much. Well, we're up. You too. All right, Patricia. Silly, now's the time. Look at this thing. Were you really around all this time? Climbing up its slick neck. Silly on seals, Velda's earthenware bottle. You're just gonna pour it on the thing? Don't see. Don't see a pour hole. He douses the petrified head of the god beast Moatana in its spicy, sweet smelling elixir. It's not working, is it? 
Oh well, we're out of time. Alstrix, he's here. I always felt certain. Really, through most of it I did. But as the end approached, I began to doubt. And it was fear that struck me. I stood my ground. Ulstrix came on. When the first land was raised from the folds of the sea, two worlds were born out of one. To Ulstrix, the mighty and arrogant Gorgon hero, this was creation's mistake. And he dreamed he'd mend it. Very little has ever been known of the things that scrum and scoil beneath roiling waters. We know the Gorgons are old. So maybe they aren't easily moved. My vanity hopes we threw him some surprises. But what victories we had weren't enough to thwart him. Perhaps we only incited an incensed Gorgon ire. We failed to reach the Spear of the Sun Hero. It became his emblem and his voice. This Gorgon heirloom long lost the land. Ulstrix reclaimed it. It was a sign. The time had come for the sea to swallow us again. Inspired, his Gorgon brethren together rose behind him to impute this gentle goad. God. And the ocean rose while the rain fell and the ice of the world turned to melt. For a while, I'm sure, he believed his dream would replace reality. The rain stops. But it won't. Fogards, Ulstrix! This mighty lord of Gorgons, scarred and strong, hurls his underlings before him and raises himself high, prepared to fight. To foe. Oh, that's three Gorgons and four more to Geist. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, okay, so everyone else withdrew up to here. Got it. So now it's time to fight in the other direction. Good. You'll love to see it. Tables liquid stone, silly. That is a scalding rain. And that on both these targets feels like it's a reasonably good idea. Animals will keep coming. Ulstrix, let's have a look at what you can do. 30 out of 30 health. Eh, that's fine, that's one dagger hit. Uh, tidal swings, 8 to 10 damage, 2 range, attacks targets, uh, and enemies adjacent to the target, hurl beast, 2 true damage, it's probably summoning a beast at the same time as well. Uh, immune to compulsion, cannot be compelled to move, uh, crushes, stops flat, flings a beast at his foes, spear of the sea queen, wields a potent symbol of Gorgon, uh, Gorgon virtue, inspiring all true Gorgons, and Ulstrix attacks, corrupt the ground and splash onto adjacent foes. Hmm. Is there anything you can do with Guardian? Uh, like get David further up and then guard and then let them approach. They've just got ranged attacks, which is the only reason I don't really want to do that much. Hmm. I think I just interfuse two different ways against them here. Like that interfuses Discus, which we'll send down. Hits both of them, reveals a flank for each, uh, which I think actually means that Silly, if you, <laughs> out of range to do it, uh, but if you interfuse this, and send that upwards. One guaranteed lethal. Gorgon takes a bunch of damage. Patricia would be attacking out of stealth here, so that's a 100% because it's again flanked from the attack from the other side. Uh, and then Patricia would hide herself again. But I can also throw a knife and do the exact same thing. And in doing so... Actually, I even have that from here. In doing so, uh, cover myself again. Oh, right. Can I interfuse with this bad boy? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Um, it doesn't come up as an object at all, so I'm going to assume not. All right. 
And, oh, Gorgon's probably not going to go up there and discover tile randomly. At least I hope so. Oh, David, you're at the back of the party and so slow and everyone else is dashing right now. David, I think you need to just take a dash move and get to that position. It's good cover. At least. Demonstrix has got a lot of health. Pretty sure you're the one on the final turn. Honestly, you probably just get to a better position and stay there. Something like that. This is going to be good territory if they don't get reveals. Hey, hey, blocked. Oh, boy. You can hurl a beast that far? And it gets a... I don't know if the beast should get a free turn there. We... You know? Um, okay. Well. Hmm. Intriguing. Kyle appearing to just randomly kill one of the targets is fine until the Bogmore moves forward. Take five, stunt. Unlikely to even kill. Just damage is not that great here. David can move up to that Rager. But I don't want to start revealing people to Ulstrix's a uh, threatened area. Gosh. Okay. Uh, area of effect kinds of things would be good to be able to take you two out. Like, that stone would easily be able to do it. Although, again, I reveal myself even further to Alstrix. That's probably a good idea. I maybe end up taunting that Gorgon with David... Oh, wait, that can even send the... Mm. I top a Holly. Pokemon in. Good damage. Position myself here, take a shot. The Bogmore would be able to try and launch an attack through the tentacles. Partial cover for adjacent figures for me. I don't love partial cover. I mean, I can take the shot from here. Uh, although that ends my turn. Can't really run away after that. I lose my flank if I go on any less harsh of an angle. Hmm. Let's start thinking about this bad boy here. Because maybe we just collapse back that way and just take out the Gorgon. In fact, that seems like a really good way to go about it. The Gorgon has so much HP. Look at that. 20 out of 20 health. So full magic damage shred. There's the discus that would fire out there. And then back in that way, I think. Actually. A discus that can get a kill. Oh, no. Oh, no. I needed that to reveal it. That row doesn't really matter too much. Antlers 2 to 4 damage. Scalding around with Silly. Silly's already taken an action. I really didn't want to be in this position. Hey, David. I think he needs to just move back and then take a strike. Hmm. 
Might as well engage both of them for the armor. Kyle might as well deal 30 damage. Just might as well, you know. This seems like a good idea. Uh, it's the remainder of those actions. Unless I go back to the row. I mean, like, I could stand here and then shoot the row backwards, but it's, like, not really good positioning for her. Can we just take the row shot from up here? Yeah. Maximum range. Oh, Patricia, you got another free action? Uh. But I can't move you back into Grey Plane? Excuse me? Could just one over to me and go with, uh, back into Grey Plane. Grey Plane? Grey Plane? Not the turn you exited, it's got the turn's cooldown. Cool. Um, it's all apply more than that and wait. Okay, that's a ranged attack against me. I get to respond. Poison the enemy. Oh, nice try. You don't get to attack David. David doesn't take damage. Ah, oh, yes. The Hell Beast. I've seen it before. 90% to just delete that row. I mean, I can't move with you anyway. Alstrix is going to have to approach at some point. You'd think. So this discus will attack. Oh, it might even kill the Bogmore by itself. Ridiculous. Attacks the Gorgon from below. Unfortunately, doesn't set. Doesn't set? No, it does set up a flank here. Great. Uh, which is uh, great. That's also, that Gorgon's poison, so it actually dies at the start of the next turn. Trish should kill the row. So, Ulstrix appears to be the final target on the board that's really threatening at all. Let's wall with Silly down here, get you further up. Um, David does want to be pretty advanced. David, you know why you exist, don't you? To tell people really disgusting things about family members of theirs in the fight, such that they attack you. Foe and Rager have been revealed. Ulstrix is making an awful mistake here. We get that dodge. Excuse me? David doesn't have the ability to attack back, I guess, because it was too range for the Ulstrix there. Rude. Kyle can get to a flank. Well, Kyle can get to a flanking position, but can't, importantly, flank from that flanking position. However, Silly can interfuse a discus downwards, setting up some flanks. Standing on corrupted land? Yeah. Yeah, it could be worse, I guess. Stand here, take a shot against Ulstrix. I just need to set up the flank with Kyle, dang it. Oh, but Kyle's not in Grey Plane, so it's not going to ignore armor, which means I need Shred on the enemy. No! It's too easy to accidentally commit an action in this game, I think. I do it so often. <laughs> And tentacles, another discus up in the other direction. Is range like? Can get that. Kyle can't really flank from the. Uh, no, Kyle can't flank from the discus shot yet. However, I 
with Willow interfuses and that hits. There's our flank, baby. Kyle, tell him what he's won. <gasps> A lot of damage. That's what he's won. Uh oh. Um, I mean, you still do it. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, Kyle Crip from behind. Patricia Nobel is now a bloodborn, a bloodborn, bloodhorn hunter. Good hunter. You are bloodborn now. Upgrade archery, 30 dodge against range attacks. I mean, if that's the second level of it and there's no levels past that point, I don't really care about it. Swift action, give yourself armor and warding to herself in a nearby alley for two turns. That's not bad with the archery, right? Set yourself up in the, the, the uh, uh, as an advanced position while doing that. Reduces the cost of recruit jobs by one plus five stunt to all heroes in the party. Oof. Uh, more poison. But is, is this is this going to matter at all? Why this campaign's over? Uh, do these characters reprise? We you going to see a reprise on the other side of this bad boy? Because it's going to, like, you know, I have to make actual decisions if I am going to see these characters again. I'm assuming I will, otherwise why did they give me experience in that? Um... Is there anything that allows a, a, a crossbow-wielding hunter to take two shots per turn? Just more stunt. What's competing for swift actions for Patricia? Poison? Not extremely commonly, though. Uses the cost of recruit jobs by one. I mean, they usually cost three. So that's a whole LP saved by that every time we recruit a character. Three times each campaign, typically. Plot 5 stunt to all heroes in party that makes it more appealing. Kind of want to know what the second level of it is. I want Patricia to be the big damage powerhouse. Holy moss. The mighty Ulstrix finally crumpled before us. His reeking corpse twitched still. It was over. Some would say we saved the world. And we did save the ember of it. We cupped this red coal of life, held it away from the water, carried it into the next morning. Through wreckage, loss, destruction, it would take time for the water to go down, for the memories to lose their bite, to rebuild, to heal. And maybe to live new lives someday. But our story was just one of many. The end. You've won. You have three safe towns. Sorry, three uh, towns. Uh, 21 safe tiles. You 12 undoes. Previous years of peace. 13. Final years of peace. 123. That's a lot of years of peace. I feel like I did a good job. Willow developed a passion for restoring ruined sites. I'm just enjoying the song. I like this. Oh no, I am missing story, I'm sorry. Oh, no. The restoration of Tumbleway Altar brought a vitality to the fauna uh, of Fernmaster Spruces that hadn't been seen in generations. Something happened before to a different character. Whoops. Silly enjoyed spending time with researchers of Hardania Ottery. They were dedicated enough to the work that they didn't incessantly try to chat him up. 
David gathered as many of the company's stories as he could and enlisted Silly to illustrate them. It's not terrible, I mean, not like I'm surprised or anything. Silly's life ran its course in peace and honor. And after his death, folks said they saw two tortoises watching the house from a distance before disappearing into the wilds. I'm guessing Kyle died when I looked away. So he became the turtle. It's always gonna happen. Show me scenes. One day, Patricia awoke with a lightness in her step. I understand it all. It, it, it all makes sense. She vanished for ten years and returned somehow unaged and full of sorrow. Oh, this is amazing. Ah, so bring me. So Kyle didn't die yet. Oh no. Oh, that this in the past. And that's Kyle. The other one was Kamado. I remember that. Last time he didn't have a crusty face. Eloise brought Kimaru to Battlebond Peak, and the stone kept the secrets they shared there. Repairing the physical damage done to the Well of Seawell wasn't hard, but coaxing the magic back into it required weeks of meditation and spell work from Willow. These heroes will be added to your legacy. Yeah, I, there's none of these I want to turn off. Add those to my legacy, please. Promote a legacy hero. Choose one hero to promote. The selected hero will move to the next legacy tier, and their new items, history, and abilities will go with them. The higher a hero's legacy tier, the more abilities that hero will come into a game with. Come into a game with. Oh, are these going to be the same people we recruit next time? Kyle, Patricia, David. It's either Kyle, Patricia, David, or... No, it's Kyle, Patricia, or David. Hmm. I think it is when you recruit them. Or maybe you start with legacy heroes for later ones, apparently. Events can apparently let you recruit. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Like, I'm assuming that there is some legacy aspect here. They're calling them legacy heroes, right? Um. Man. Kyle really does... Kyle interacted the most with the story of that campaign. I think... I think it does have to be Kyle. Yeah, silly too busy being a tortoise. <laughs> elemental weapons unlocked in Legacy. The elemental weapons you discovered this game have been unlocked in, uh, in your Legacy and will now be available to craft in all future games. Achievement unlocked. Let me get my chisel. Complete a carved in stone campaign. Yo. That's Wildermyth. There's, uh, there's more in this bad boy. A new story would have... Uh, Age of Ulstrix was the three-chapter story there. There's Enduring War, Monarchs, Moths. Five-chapter stories for these. So this was three chapters. The others are five. Five, five, five. 